Good morning, elites. It's Dawn McIntyre. Um, I just wanted to shoot a quick video or I don't know how quick it'll be, but I just wanted to shoot a video for listing um, items really quick using the speed method that Chris uh, Smith has shown us. Um, I have done my scrape file and opened my X, I downloaded it, my C CSV file, and I've opened it in Excel. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to column D, and I'm going to highlight that entire column, and I'm going to insert a column. Okay, and this, this is going to be my lead-in to my title. So I like to work, use the word new, and these listings, they're all from the same category, they're all the same grouping, um, and they're artist sets, so I'm going to say new for beginner artists, exclamation points, and a space. I always want to make sure you get that space in there at the end of this one. Okay, so then I'm going to drag it down, show you that again. You get the plus sign and then you just drag it all the way down and it copies it. Okay, so then I'm going to go to column F and I'm going to also insert a column. And then I'm going to just take one of my items. Um, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to take it over to the title optimizer um, to get my keywords. So let's go over there. And we're going to paste it in here and submit. And I'm looking for what I'm looking for is I'm just looking for um, generic, generic words. So let's choose the word art box and let's see what comes up. Um, so I can go use the word arts. Crafts, and I'm looking for big green, uh, beautiful, mm. supply. I'm going to stay away from words like wooden and pencil because paints, because they're all, uh, it's a varied listing, um, multi. And I'm looking for like, I don't know, six, eight keywords. Um, case, they're all in a case. Uh, let's go more craft. Um, BNIB is brand new in box. Okay, that's probably enough. And then I'm going to add um, fast free shipping at the end. And an exclamation point. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with um, my first word that I added was beautiful. So I'm going to go from beautiful to fast free shipping. I'm going to copy that. So control C. Then I'm going to take it over to my spreadsheet and I'm going to paste it in um, line number two and it's going to be cell F, that column that I added. And I'm going to put a, before I paste it, I'm going to put a space and then I'm going to paste it, control V. So there it is, beautiful arts, craft, supply, multi-case, craft, BNIB, fast free shipping. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this. I'm going to make these all upper and lower case. I'm going to leave the BNIB all in caps and I'm going to leave the fast free in caps. So then I'm going to hit enter and then that there's my new title. So I'm going to drag it, that, get the plus sign, and I'm going to drag it down all the way down the column. Okay, so now I have my title. My title consists of new for beginner artists, and then it's the title that came from Amazon, then beautiful arts, crafts, supply, blah, blah, blah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to column G, I'm going to highlight that column, and I'm going to insert a column. Okay, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the title. So you can right click, cut, come over to column G. We're going to right click, paste. Okay, so your new title is going to be in column G now. So now what you need to do is you need to create your formula to bring that entire title together. So to create the formula, you're going to start out with equals, and then you're going to go over to your column B, which is your lead in, and you're going to add the word or add an ampersand, and then you're going to go to column E, add an ampersand, column G, add an ampersand, or no, excuse me. Okay, so it's going to be D, D, E, and F is going to be your new title. So equals D and E and F. So hit enter and then you want to get your plus sign and drag it down. Okay now what you want to do is you want to go in and get rid of any um, name brands or model numbers in your title. So I'm going to just go down to each one and I'm going to Art 101, I'm going to leave that, um, let me get rid of the brand name there, Young Artist Essential Gift Set, that's okay, Darius, we want to get rid of that, want to get rid of the brand name again, and again, Windsor and Newton Cotman so we're going to get rid of all of that and I'm just highlighting it and hitting delete seventy nine piece okay I'm going to leave that Martin Rivera, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so I've got all my model numbers and brand names out. So now what I want to do is I want to save the file. And yes, I'm going to keep it in this format. And then I'm going to close the file. Do you want to save the changes? I say no because I've just, I say don't save because I've just saved it. So don't save. Okay, it closed that. So now I want to go back to Excel. And it's opening a little slow because I'm uh, using, recording it. Um, so I'm going to open. I gotta find it again. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna go all files. Draw a sketch. Open. Uh, 
Okay, I've opened the wrong file. Let's go. I'm going to stop this recording so I can find the right file. Okay, there we go. So we're, we open the file again. So now we have our new title. If you highlight that, you can see how long the title is. Our new title on each one and everything looks good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight columns D, E, and F. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to delete those columns. Okay, so, so now we just have our new title in there. Um, so now what we're going to do, we have to get the title in between our H1 tags on our description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to column F and I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to insert a column in front of F. Then I'm going to go to the first item and I'm going to take out, I'm going to remove the center, the first of the HTML code, the center, the BR, and the H1. So I'm going to um, cut that, control X, and then I'm going to go over to F and I'm going to control V. Paste that in there. Then I'm going to get my plus sign and I'm going to drag it all the way down. Okay, then I'm going to go to column G and I'm going to get rid of the title that the scraper put in there. So I'm going to hot, double click on that item and I'm going to get rid of that, ti that title to the uh, end H1. And then I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get rid of everything up to the end H1. The next one. The next. The next. And I'm going to do that all the way down. Okay, so now I have all of those done. So I have, I've taken the, the very beginning out and I put it in its own column and I've changed my description. I've removed everything in front of the end H1. So now what I want to do is I want to go over to column H and I want to insert a column. And this column is going to become my new description. So I'm going to highlight description. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to paste it to column H. And then what I'm going to do is I have to create my formula for my new description. So my formula for my new description is going to be equals. And then I'm going to just tab over. Oops, excuse me. Tab over to column F. That's the beginning of my new description. And I'm going to do an ampersand. I'm going to go over, pick up my new title do another ampersand and then I'm going to pick up my column G which is the rest of my description. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to hit enter. So my new form or my formula for my new description is going to be column F which is the beginning telling it to uh, it's the beginning of the H1 tags then I'm going to add my title and then my description. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this all the way down Okay, that's done. So now I'm going to save the file. Yes, we're going to keep the format. 
and then we're going to close the file and we're not going to save it there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open the file again. <clears throat> okay, here's our new our new file and we have our new description in there and it's put our our brand new really long title in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to column F and column G. I'm going to highlight those and I'm going to get rid of them. So delete those. And then we have our new code. I need to grab my category from the optimizer, which is going to be craft, art supplies, painting, um, Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the, I guess the watercolor paint. Well, let's see if we can go. Um, let's see. Let's go drawing set. Let's see if it comes up. Yeah. Let's go arts and crafts, art supplies, drawing other. So 117, excuse me, 11784. Copy that. Come back over to my Excel spreadsheet. Paste that in there. And then I'm going to copy it all the way down. Okay, then I'm going to save the file. Yes. And I'm going to close the file. Don't save it. And we're ready to upload it to TurboLister. And that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, come in the Skype group and I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Um, and because this is in the advanced section, don't actually post your uh, questions in the Skype room. Um, just say that you've got a question for the advanced area and one of the leaders that's in there or or you can actually go back to your sponsor your um, mentor and they'll help you with that <laughs> hope that helps have a great day